I like Hell of a Boss. Hell of a Boss reminds me very much of Centaur World, where there's just random stuff going on. There's no real logic to a lot of things. There is some serious moments and there is a so somewhat storyline. But for the most part, it's kind of just like a spitball of events that are just random. And it's it's a lot of fun. And I that's why it's a guilty pleasure. I absolutely enjoyed it. For me, Hell of a Boss feels in the same vein of Centaur World, where if I really was to critique this, I'd probably give it like a three or a four if I was like being super critical of it. But the thing is, I'm just, I just think it's super fun and I don't need to take it too serious. The show very much relies on its cast. It's very likable characters, in fact, like Blitzo. Like, I, I don't know, I'm super gay. I love gay relationships. Blitzo and Stolas, I am so invested in that shit and I actually think it's the cutest thing ever. I'm actually so cringe. Eminem is also a very wholesome relationship, but you know, Moxie kind of takes too much of the highlight in that shit and Millie doesn't really have her own real character, which I think they should flesh out Millie more. Although they did... <laughs> Fuck. They did kind of flesh out a lot more of her character in the last episode, but the thing is, I don't want to talk about the last episode because it's kind of cringe. <laughs> and although I did cringe at that very, very hard, I'm not going to lie, I did cringe at it. Uh, Vibsy Pop, you're doing a very good job, okay? I believe great creative minds, great creators, great um, producers, everything like that, writers, I believe they do the best when they don't listen to the fans whatsoever. Clearly, there's a lot of shows who listen too much about their fans, and it becomes about the fan service. And once it goes into fan service, like they start like self-inserting fans or fan ideas, that's when it's going downhill. And Vibsy Pop seems to be very upfront with what she wants. I respect that a lot because fans, they don't know what they want. They want what they want. They want a headcanon. They want thing. They basically want to write the show for themselves. And uh, you never listen to the fans whatsoever. You can be very appreciative of the fans, but at the same time, you in no sense need to ever cater to them. Like the people on Twitter, they, I'm gonna be real. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just saying some random ass shit. They, they make no sense. Like Twitter, they're on Twitter for a reason. <laughs> Like, the best thing you can do with fans is basically respect they exist, respect their criticisms and everything like that, but do your own thing. Like, I'm a fan of your show, and there's a lot of jokes that I can't say I ever laughed at, but the thing is, I want you to keep doing that, because you need to do you, and I respect you more if you do you. Just because I didn't laugh at anything, or just because I didn't like one small segment of something, it doesn't mean I'm just gonna give up on you. I see things very contextually, I see things like piece by piece just because one chapter of a book isn't my favorite doesn't mean the whole book is ruined i look at things chapter by chapter piece by piece and i think more people need to do that anyway there's no real point to this video i just see a lot of conversation about hell of a boss and it's mainly been kind of negative and i want to say i'm kind of in the positive boat about it like i very much appreciate what she's doing like this this series at the end of the day is free and that's what's keeping me invested that i don't have to pay any money for it and that's what's kind of like making me not really care too much about the quality overall quality of the show and um yeah i don't know how's it going pups it's a canine and i'm out but um for the most part hey what you doing oh you gonna go say hi to my mother no oh, hi <laughs> gonna be hell But yeah, going back to it, um, dude, it's actually so hard to focus when the cat's in your lap. Holy shit.